we've won. Cook the sausages, we're coming home. Uh, welcome back to my project where we're trying to make a PlayStation controller drive a old radar controlled car. If you don't know what this is about, check out the previous episode where we uh, find the hardware we used to get this thing sort of up and running. So um, if you're watching my following my Instagram at all over the weekend, you would have seen me cobble together a solution for holding all the bits in place. So it sits in the car like that. And I had this uh, front off a board to um, or print off a little bracket to hold it all. Uh, it's here, so I've got a, a back converter in there because this has got a I've got a converter to change the voltage down to the right voltage for SP32. This has got four AA, so it's just slightly too high voltage, and which sits in there. My driver board for the engines for the motors sits down the bottom and across the top. We can't actually show you. That's pretty much the guts of it. What's great about this board is it's got all these pads here, which you connect up. And they line up perfectly with the pins on the SP32. So it was just a case of putting a ribbon cable across for that to work. And then there's just a hole down the middle for the wires to come out the front. And the top clips down and holds all that in place. So it was perfect, really. And then uh, I think in the last video, I can't quite remember, I was using a library to drive the motors. But I found another um, resource on what well, I found an instructable by Andy Tullock and at the bottom of his is using the same identical driver board and he down the bottom of his page he has his uh, code he's used to make the motors drive no libraries involved just an extra few lines of code so I copied and pasted that into my Arduino software and flashed it to the ESP32 on this car and everything works perfectly. So I still don't have the um, controller here but I want to test to see if it works right. So I thought well perhaps we could just use an app on the phone and yeah, I thought that would be a massive effort but it was in fact too easy. Uh, there's this app called Dabble and it has um, pre-programmed all the things for you so it's just too easy. They've even got an ESP32 library so I just got to install the library and it's I can use all these features like it's got a gamepad already set up so that's perfect right. So I uh, downloaded the library and installed it and once you install it you've got the um, examples codes and you'll find devil32 is added and gamepad and when you've got the gamepad code here you can see it's just square circle right cross and whenever that button is pressed it does the function so the controller itself looks like this so you just push all the buttons and it does what you assigned it to. So I just pop back into Andy's sketch and we've got motor drive one turn clockwise full speed right and then uh, we pop back into my other sketch and when I press cross X it'll drive the motor for as long as that button's down. The important thing to remember is to tell the motor to stop. So at the bottom of the loop I've just added the motor stop. So and it is um so it stops the motor. So if you take your finger off the button it won't actually stop. So if that's not in there it'll just run continuously because you're just turning it on. So I um, flash that to the controller. And uh, it connects, so whenever you turn the app on, it pops up and it auto automatically discovers the SP32. And if you had a different one, you could pick between, watch. So that's half our problem solved, right? 
and then um, I've mapped the X to go triangle backwards and obviously left and right. So if we try and balance this out. And the steering. So that's a working unit. So, you know, we've won. Cook the sausages, we're coming home. But we want to use the PlayStation controller for this one. So we've proven everything there sort of works. So we just make sure this PlayStation controller turns up to completely sign off the project. So that's where it for now. And we'll, um, when the PlayStation controller turns up, hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll give it a crack. Uh, so if you could, um, if you found this useful, please just leave a like and or perhaps even a subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.